Bonjour, madame and monsieur. Today is Tuesday. Room. Let's do what we always do, folks. Down to the unit. And today, I actually have a full day in the unit. So the plan is, I'm gonna actually tidy this shit all up. It's got really bad because I've been doing dozens of different jobs, as you know, in the past two weeks. And I haven't really put all my tools away. So I think we're gonna have a good tidy up first. It'll probably only take me an hour. But then I can start to bring in some of those other tanks and we'll get them cleaned up and get to get inside and get some welding done. Now we've got the fermenter, it's 95% done. I do need to go inside and tidy some welds up, do a little bit of polishing uh, where it's coked through on some certain areas. Bloody bloody blah, I don't want to rub it on too much. So, job one, tidy. Job two, more tank work. Check it out! Fair enough, it took me longer than an hour. It's actually dinner time now, 12 o'clock. But I managed to do a lot more than I anticipated I would. So I've got a little grinding area over there, which looks really smart. Put a new board up on the wall. Managed to fix both of my bench grinders to a little shelf. Built the shelf. Cleaned up everything else. I do still need to make some metal retainment for the gas bottles and I need some longer pipe as well so I'm probably going to order that off eBay or something like that get it delivered here in the next day or two and then we'll see how much uh, then we'll see what, what position we can put those uh, gas cylinders in probably right in that corner would be the safest bet and then just run the pipes out and have quite a long long pipe off the regulator makes sense to me so I've got some Spicy chicken wings that we cooked last night. Gemma did a lovely meal with some nice tasty rice. And these are the leftovers. So I'm going to dive into this amazing, amazing looking creature right now. Three o'clock gone. Oh, look at the colour of my face. So yeah, I've spent all of the afternoon inside the fermenter, reflowed some of the welds, tidied up the outlet, had the buffing wheel on there. In fact, I'll show you. So, ran the buffing wheel around this edge, made it look seamless pretty much. And then on the inside, we do have still a few bits and bobs that probably aren't ideal, but the pickling paste I think will take care of any chances of it starting to rust. I think there are just two pieces on that bottom cone that I just want to hit with the welder and then we'll be done. You see the dressed the outlet, I've dressed where the legs are welded on and I've also dressed where the cooling jacket is and for me 
that's good enough I'm, I'm pleased with it <laughs> there might be one or two dimples in the welds here and there but I'm sure we can live with it and if it does prove to be a problem I can always climb back in and reflow anything that's an issue right the next job folks is to get this toxic dangerous chemical the old Antox 71E plus painted onto the weld and the seam on the inside this will repacify the stainless steel and give it back its stainless steel properties should it have lost them and of course I'm going to stand her up and wash her out in a minute so if I'm washing her out it makes sense to pickle it now and also around here it should pull off all this coking should clean up the colour of the world should be really nice doesn't really matter on the outside actually but uh, it'll certainly help me see where there are any fissures or anything that needs attention after I've pickled it all so this will take some concentration you don't want this on your skin you don't want to be breathing the vapour so I'm going to have to uh, gear up for this one right it's approaching seven o'clock I've stopped here a little bit later tonight I've managed to get the other concentric reducer fit up on the top of the what I believe is going to be the boil kettle and you can see there was quite a little bit of a gap there but if you can jump it you can weld it so all I've done was just leave the leave the filler rod in the puddle weaving backwards and forwards lovely little bit of colour there I'm really happy with that weld it's coming along nicely and then I've just got to go all the way around tie her in and uh, that will be another job done I have cocked up though, I should have put the male fitting on top before I started to weld this on here. So I'm going to have to uh, figure out a way of doing this after the event. What a tit. I'll probably be able to just block the bottom of this concentric reducer off down here. Put a purge pipe on top or underneath and just fill this up with argon and then run around the outside. Probably easiest way to do it. But next time I have to remember to put the male fit in on the top. Oh. Made it all the way around that fitting. Very, very nice tidy weld. And I'm pinching a Platform C by Fallen Brewing. 6.3%. Amazing IPA. Mm. Well deserved. Nothing better than an IPA to rinse away the internox that you've inhaled. Oh, well, I might end up like that Russian bloke on news. you see what I did there so the bottom one was just welded and I just ran around non-stop and while it looks pretty smart you'll see that actually there's not any sort of stacked dime look to it so you can see it's just like a, a soft finish if you know what I mean. So on the top one I upped it by 5 amps and I started to use the pulse setting and the pulse setting popped that stacked dime look into it which uh, stacked dime some kind of American stacked 10 peas then if you like they call it stacked dime though on all the welding forums I've been reading it's quite good isn't it I'm pleased with that. That's a very, very nice looking hygienic weld in my book. And this contraption here is how we're purging at the minute. And because I'd purged for welding the male part on, well, instead of setting up a new purge system over there, I just thought I found it so easy to run around there. Why not just pop the fitting that I want to weld straight on top? of what I've already got set up for purging and just extend the purge a little bit. So now I'm just going to swap it round and we'll do this end. Dead easy, just change it straight round. As much as I would like to stay my pedigree chums 
It is half past eight, approaching fast. And Gemma is sat outside with the children in the car. She will not come and pick me up any later than this. Check that out though, mate. Fucking yes. Friggin' rights, buddy. Friggin' rights. Another one in the bag. Yes. And we've also washed the pickling paste off the tank that we did this morning. And the welds have come up nice and shiny and bright. Maybe not too fantastic, but shiny and bright nonetheless. And you can really see the colour. The colour's nice. So we've got to get that Antinox washed away. That's a job for tomorrow. Absolutely a job for tomorrow. I've also got to put one more concentric reducer on and two more cones. Am I gonna to get to do it tomorrow? I doubt it very much. I'm just pleased that I managed to get this one on. And she looks a bit neat, don't you think? Anyway, I'm gonna jump in the car, go home, get a shower, and have some tea with the missus and the kids. Cheers, folks. I'll see you tomorrow.